welcome to California Yacht Club's opening day. My name is Tim Clark, I am the 2021 Commodore. Although we can't be together in the traditional way, I want to thank you for joining us virtually as we celebrate the official start of the yachting season. I would like to invite Staff Commodore Bill Watkins to join me at the podium to give the invocation. To paraphrase my friend, the Reverend Kate Lewis, who sailed in many of our regattas before becoming an Episcopal priest, we gather together here today through this electronic medium as people who know God by many different names. And so with respect for all those ways of knowing the name of God and in your own way, let us pray. O oh God, we ask that you be with all who sail and power on your waters. During these difficult times, keep us healthy and safe, keep our vessels sound, and give us fresh winds and following seas for all of our journeys. Be with our Commodore Tim Clark and his bridge, all in our California Yacht Club and our staff, as we look forward to planning and conducting regattas, cruises, and activities on your ocean and here at California Yacht Club. We pray that you will be with all who care for us and our first responders as we live through this pandemic. And we ask you to keep safe all who serve in our armed forces and protect our nation. To God who provides for each other and our fellowship and for the beautiful Pacific Ocean and Santa Monica Bay that gives us joy, we offer to you, O oh God, our thanksgiving and say, Amen. Thank you, Staff Commodore Bill Watkins, for your inspirational invocation, and thank you, Master at Arms Scott Jurema. Will Fleet Captain Anthony Agolio please man the Frank M. Gleberman Memorial Ship's Bell? Let us take a moment of reflection as we sound eight bells in honor of club members who have passed away during 2020. Eight bells for those who have returned to the sea. Thank you, Fleet Captain Anthea Golia. It is now my pleasure to introduce Junior Staff Commodore Stephanie Weston. Wow, what a wild ride we've been on. Thank you for taking it with me this past year. It was a privilege being your COVID Commodore. When I was installed last January, we had a full calendar planned only to see it coming to a complete stop in March. We wisely took the lead in canceling our opening day with the other clubs in Marina Del Rey following suit. While we all weren't in the same boat, each of us had to navigate challenges and changes during the year. After midwinters in February, the sailboat racers were pretty much sidelined for the rest of the racing season. And our sunset series never made it to the starting line. The big event, which we had all been looking forward to, the J70 World Championship was postponed to 2021. As a club, we rode the turbulent wave, focusing on what we could do. The pool cat patio became a prime dining spot for most of the summer and fall. Unfortunately, our junior and rowing programs thrived. The cruising fleet made the most of getting their boats and enjoying cruises up and down the coast into Catalina. Our committees and groups met virtually. Who knew we'd be learning to navigate Zoom? Although the Commodore's cruise and ball were canceled, I look forward to celebrating with our future Commodores. To end the year on a high note, a remote control sailboat racing fleet was established. Nothing we accomplished this year could have been done without support of management. Lindsay Pizarro and her team 
did an amazing job. I want to thank my bridge for all they did during this most difficult year and for their support and encouragement. I wish Commodore Tim Clark and his bridge fairer winds and smoother seas in 2021. Above all, always remember to enjoy the ride. On behalf of the members and officers of California Yacht Club, I would like to thank our 2020 Commodore Stephanie Weston for a wonderful stewardship during an unprecedented year. We couldn't have asked for a better person to navigate us through this wild ride. As we start our 99th yachting season, I wanted to share my perspective on California Yacht Club. I believe there are two intertwined themes that are the building blocks for our wonderful club. First is our love for being on, in, or around the water. And the second is our members and the friendships that we make. For me, my wife, Lara, and my two daughters, Madeline and Morgan, California Yacht Club is a home away from home. A place where we feel safe and relaxed. A place we can enjoy a drink and a meal with our friends. Somewhere our children can learn to sail and the skills and challenges that come along with that. A starting point for cruising our wonderful coastline and a fun, challenging race venue. For you, California Yacht Club could be being part of the Whims Association or partying with the power fleet. It could be playing paddle tennis or pickleball, joining in the fun with the family activities group, taking a dive with the scuba group, enjoying an early morning row, or just simply relaxing by the pool. Whatever it is that you enjoy, I hope that 2021 is the year that enables you to get out there and do it. As we look to the months ahead, there are many exciting parties, events, and regattas organized. A highlight for sure will be the J70 World Championships, which encompasses everything that is great about California Yacht Club. Good luck to those competing. My theme for 2021 is keep calm and sail on, which is a shout out to my home country of Great Britain, the need to stay calm during these challenging times, and for my love of sailing. Over the years, I've been lucky enough to share my passion for sailing with my friends and family. And this year, I'm excited to share it with our club at this year's Commodore's Cruise to Catalina Island. We plan an exciting trip to Avalon and the Isthmus and our outpost at Howland's Landing. I do hope many of you can join us. I won't pretend that life is back to normal. We will have to continue to be flexible and willing to pivot in this ever-changing landscape but I'm confident that the storm is subsiding and better weather is on the horizon. I look forward to seeing you around the club or on the water as soon as we can. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce the members of California Yacht Club 2021 Bridge. Vice Commodore Monica Antola, Rear Commodore Christina Tarantola, Fleet Captain Anthony Agolia, and Port Captain Sue Service. I feel extremely fortunate to have such a wonderful bridge with whom to work with. Thank you for your continuing support. It is now my pleasure to introduce California Club's 2021 Fleet Officers. Fleet Budget Officer, Mark Pinkerton. Fleet Judge Advocate, Cole Sheridan. Fleet Secretary, Nicole Harnett. And Fleet Surgeon, Dr. Harlan Gibbs. My sincere thanks to the Fleet Officers for all the work they do for the club. Vice Commodore Antola, please join me at the podium. Thank you, Commodore Clark. Although they cannot be here in attendance, I would like to recognize our staff Commodores. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the members of the California Yacht Club Junior Bridge. Junior Commodore Grant Janoff. Junior Vice Commodore Todd Davis. Junior Rear Commodore Emily Doble. Junior Fleet Captain Preston Ziegler. Junior Racing Team Captain, Karsten Zieger. We are very excited about this 2021 Junior Bridge and look forward to a great 2021. It is now my pleasure to introduce the California Yacht Club Women's Association. Executive Officer, Connie Webster. First Officer, Laura Greenberg. Second Officer, Barry Wilkinson. Secretary, Carly Saltzman. And Junior Staff Executive Officer, Michelle Parker Andre. We look forward to a great year with the CYCWA. Rear Commodore Tarantola, please join me at the podium to introduce CYC's 2020 award winners.
Thank you, Commodore Clark. First, the recipients of our CYC awards are Hal H. Hainel, Yachtsman of the Year for Achievement in National and International Competition is Drew Friedes. The Michael F. Brainy Sportsmanship Award for displays of sportsmanship and Corinthian spirit goes to Sioux Service. The Charles F. Hathaway Long Distance Cruising Trophy for skill and courageous acts while deep water cruising goes to Clifford Rome. And now, the SCYA honorees for 2020. The George L. and K.B. Fisher Memorial Trophy to a couple who have rendered distinguished service to yachting in Southern California goes to Justin and Madeline McJones. The Warren Ewart Memorial Trophy for service to SCYA with distinction and a true Corinthian spirit goes to Tom Page. The Peggy Slater Memorial Trophy for enhancement of women's participation in sailing or individual achievement in the sport of sailing goes to Marie Rogers. The Sportsmanship Trophy for outstanding sportsmanship on or off the water goes to Liz Yorth. Congratulations to all our honorees. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Signal Service Award is presented to our Commodore for 2020, Stephanie Weston. Congratulations, Stephanie, and well-deserved. Well, Master Dom Scott Jarema, please prepare the cannon. Cannon is ready in all respects, Commodore. Fleet Captain Anthony Agolia, is the harbor free of ice? Commodore Clark, the harbor is free of ice and we are ready for the 2021 season. Will Port Captain Sioux Service please raise the California Yacht Club Virgie? Please prepare for the cannon shot. Commodore Clark, I'm pleased to report that the California Yacht Club is in commission for the 2021 yachting season. 